Well, hey there, garbage lovers, and welcome to another trash talking episode of This Show Is Not Rubbish. To get a gadget to work these days, often all you have to do is sing out to a digital assistant. Hey Siri, turn on my desk lamp. Alexa? Okay, Google. Hmm. We seem to be having technical difficulties. Let's see what the thing in the bin wants us to experiment with today. This is the latest in voice activated technology. It's called the iCan. And if I can, so can you. But before we explore this device's fascinating key features, let's open a can of trashy facts. The first voice activated device was created in 1911. It was a tiny toy dog called Radio Rex that jumped out of its kennel when called. So cute. <laughs> Tin cans are not made from tin, but rather from tin-plated steel. And some tin cans don't contain any tin at all. What's in a name, hey? Tin cans are often ribbed to give them extra strength. In the same way that ribs and corrugations can strengthen cardboard, they also allow the cans to safely expand and shrink a little during the canning process. Thing! How rude. And so, to my voice activated tin can, which leaks whenever I ask it to. I can see that doubt written all over your face. Well, prepare to be amazed. Hey, I can. I'm listening, Mr. Trash Can Man. Whoa, there's no need to be so formal. Just call me Trashy. I'm listening, Trashy. I can? Leak. Can you, Trashy? So can I. I mean, I can. Could you please start leaking? Certainly, Trashy. And stop. Not a problem. Leak. Releasing I can contents. Stop. Ceasing to leak. Leak. Leaking. Stop. I can not tell a lie. I wish you would make up your mind. Cheeky. And I'm sensing you don't believe this can is really voice activated. And you would be, well, 100% correct. It's not my voice that's making the can leak, but rather something else that I'm doing. Have you worked it out? It's as simple as a little slip of the finger. You see, there are two holes in this can, one in the top and one in the bottom. When I place my finger over the top hole, gravity pulls a little water out through the bottom hole, but only for a moment. As the water is pulled out, the air inside the can is stretched into a bigger space. As it stretches, it drops to a lower pressure. High pressure air on the outside of the can then pushes up and against the water, holding it inside. Shift my finger, and as air rushes in through the top hole, the water rushes out the bottom. So the great big rather important question is, once you're done with your can, into which bin should you kick it? It's time to play a little game I like to call, which bin? So our choices, as always, are a general curbside waste bin, a curbside recycling bin, a curbside green bin, or some other bin or place. Or what do you reckon? Which bin? I'll give you a few moments to have a think. So have you thunk of an answer? I'm sure you know exactly where this can should go, and that's straight into a curbside recycling bin. Steel can be recycled over and over and over and over and over without any loss in quality. So make sure it stays in the loop 
and doesn't stray into landfill. Or you can use it to do some gardening. I like to turn old tin cans into decorative planters. No! Absolutely not! Recycling and waste management is an evolving science, and rules vary from country to country, city to city, and council to council. Always check with your local council as to what thing should go into which bin. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and then head over to our website and social media pages for more garbagey goodness. Ooh.